Well, welcome to this video. I'm trying to see if I can launch Simple Screen Recorder two times, and I can. So, there was an Arco Linux user who says, Hey Eric, can you make a tutorial about Simple Screen Recorder? I use it all the time. Um, we are 1,300 videos, and let's say that around 1,000 have been created with Simple Screen Recorder, so I can rely on it. It just works. Now, there are issues depending on what desktop would you work. For instance, also was a little bit tricky to set things right. So this is the one working. I'm going to move that one to the other directory. And this is the one I just launched. So what do you need to know? Well, basically, you tell the system what screen you're on. So I have two screens. I can make an all screens, which is going to be a 4K um, uh, recording then. But often you can't really see what's going on because it requires a really big resolution then. So most often we'll take screen one or screen two, one of the both. And that's it here. So video input is going to be your screen. Follow the cursor, never tried all these guys. Frame rate. So how many pictures per second? Because that's what it is. A video is a picture after a picture after a picture. So a frame after a frame, 30 frames per second, it's normal. But if you are on a system maybe with a CPU that's, that's lower, less gigabytes in, in memory and so on and so on, you might consider getting this number down so it will make less pictures per second. But it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it, it will matter in the quality, but it all depends. Um, our eye cannot see 30 images in one second. So some point in time you'll probably notice some difference but um, you can lower this number record the cursor do you want uh, people to see your cursor yes no yes uh, of course when teaching i want them to see and follow what i'm doing so yes and in record audio i choose pulse audio which is our general one and i'm very happy with my webcam so people tell me, hey, the sound is bad and all that. That's only a few people who tell me that. Because this webcam C930, whatever number there, it's Logitech. And I'm pretty uh, sure that it's working fine now. So yeah, that's an, uh, a good investment to have an upper market or a, a higher quality webcam. And then a little bit of silence. And you'll hear everything I say. So um, that's that. Then you go next and you can make an output profile. I've never done that. I set my own element. So this is a profile so you can save it and load it later. What I'll do is say browse here, uh, put it in the video so you can browse and put it wherever you want. But videos is for me a great place to put it in. And this time, at this point in time, it changed, I don't know, a few months ago or so, that simple screen recorded at the timestamp. So it's always going to be a unique name because of it. This one, if checked, a separate video file will be created every time you pause and resume. So that's not a good idea. I guess we just leave this unticked, meaning if you just pause the video and then go look something up and then continue again then it will be just one file so it's easy to upload it back to um, youtube now <clears throat> this is probably um, up for debate but actually it's not it's just what uh, youtube requires or wants and one of the things it wants is that it's a container mp4 so i guess i could look for it let's see if i can so i'm gonna pause now so i googled youtube upload requirements and you get this here so we want a container of mp4 check container mp4 what else audio codec aaclc so audio codec aac okay and then last but not least the video codec it wants h264 and you're getting H264, my friend. Now, 
this is something where I, this this drop down is what I did to play with the settings in Awesome. So Awesome is a specific desktop environment, it's a Windows styling manager, and we noticed some flickering, meaning that it's just yeah, couldn't say it any better word, flickering. So we, I think we put it on fast. So you test, you make few videos, five minutes or so, put them all on YouTube and then you check out what's the best setting. You write down faster, fast, medium, slow, and you check out. So it's uh, not the sound that's a problem in uh, Awesome, but it's more the, the video. So, but normally let everything be, so super fast is the standard setting, and that's just fine for us. So all you have to do now is continue, and then start recording. Maybe you want a shortcut, so hotkey, Control w to enable recording hotkey or not so we can change it again and anyway you see fit and then um, well it's a fun time that's you start recording and you explain things to people help people out make videos share it with others share the knowledge share the beauty all right that concludes for me the tutorial and i hope you have uh, lots of fun and sample with simple screen recorder and with sharing your knowledge. Cheers.